okay so here is a cyclohexane molecule yeah you can see that this is a cyclohexane molecule CH2 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 uh, and CH2 now what I've done is I have labeled uh, the hydrogens as yellow and pink just for our understanding these hydrogens are exactly identical there is absolutely no difference between one hydrogen and the other hydrogen but to, to make a point we have differently color coded them now let's look at the ring from the side view yeah so this is the side view of the ring yeah if you look at any hydrogen okay there are two types of hydrogen um, ones that are going straight up or down ones that are kind of sideways so if you look at this hydro this carbon this is axial yeah the one that goes up or down vertical hydrogens are called axial whereas the one that are coming sideways so this is actually coming towards us so that is called equatorial on this this is coming towards us this is going down so this is equatorial whereas this is axial same thing with this this is going up that's axial this is equatorial okay so let's have that planar structure so this is equatorial yeah and this is axial this is axial this is equatorial so this is kind of have to be little straight the ring is not straight it may look that the equatorial is not so let me just adjust that all right so I think this is fair so this is this is equatorial this is axial yeah, and this is again axial and equatorial so again there are two types of hydrogen on each carbon one is axial one is equatorial if you look at it from the top you can see the alternation the ones you see right in the pink these are the ones axial the other axial are basically hiding behind so you can see that they are hiding behind that carbon so from top view as it turns out that you can only see three axial hydrogens as far as equatorial because they are sideways you can see all the six equatorial hydrogens okay and this is the peculiarity of um, cyclohexane ring structure if you look at the structure this is again this is a chair ring structure again if you move it a little bit hold on a second yeah so this is a chair conformation goes up and down yeah like that so this is a chair conformation of cyclohexane this is the most stable um, the second thing is that because of this ring you know bent structure in each bond or this uh, you know bent cyclohexane structure the bond angle is actually 109.5 degrees exactly what we would expect for an sp3 hybridized carbon okay um, the bent structure actually decreases the bond angle in this particular case it would have been 120 degrees but comes down to 109.5 degrees which is perfect so, um, the third thing is the staggeration of the hydrogen so if you look at any so let's look at this carbon carbon single bond right and make a Newman projection if you do the Newman projection you'll see that these hydrogens are all staggered okay they're perfectly equal distance from each other and that is good same thing with this and both if you look at this between these two carbons all the hydrogens are perfectly equal distance from each other um, any if you look at any hydrogen any carbon any two carbon you'll see that all the hydrogens are staggered any two okay so I'm just making the rotation to give you the view that all the hydrogens are staggered and they're perfectly staggered they're perfectly nice equal distance from each other in Newman projection and because of the cyclohexane is the most stable ring structure okay of um, cyclase as the ring gets larger we go to cycloheptane and cyclooctane then the bond angle starts to increase the the as the bond angle increases the hydrogens comes closer to each other and you see a little bit of eclipse and not a full eclipse but a little bit of eclipse. you see a little bit of torsional strain so you see an increase in the torsional strain you see an increase in the angle strain and as a result of that the higher rings are again less stable so of all the cycloalkane rings 
cyclohexane is the most stable um, as you go down to cyclopentane it's slightly marginally less stable than uh, cyclohexane in many cases if you know if you're doing a synthesis cyclohexane is actually formed relatively faster because kinetically it is um, it is feasible right it has a higher rate of formation although it is slightly less stable so um, usually you'll see that cyclopentane and there is a competition between cyclopentane and cyclohexane ring in terms of stability uh, but cyclobutane cyclopropane are definitely less stable than cyclopentane and cyclohexane and cycloheptane and octane and any higher ring is definitely less stable so that's why uh, you don't see higher rings yeah in in uh, alkanes I mean uh, they do exist to some extent but then you don't see you know cycloheptane octane are, are possible non in cyclo non ins are also possible but after you know uh, after 12 or 13 carbon becomes very difficult for these rings to exist okay so that's the confirmation of cyclohexane we're going to continue um, the rest of it in our class notes